All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Madison Berry, and I am a baseball player. Now, usually the first reaction I get is, baseball? Oh, you mean softball. Not exactly. Let me explain. I know what baseball is, and I know what softball is, and I know the differences between the two. I definitely play baseball. Next, people will ask me, oh, so it's a co-ed team. Well, it is because I'm there. <laughs> and finally, they'll ask me, well, why? For me, it's pretty simple. I prefer the intricacies of baseball to those of softball, so I play it. Baseball and softball are like second cousins. They have some similarities, like three strikes, three outs, and at least nine players. But they also have many differences, like pitching styles, field dimensions, and overall traditions. There are no girls baseball teams by my house, so I play with the guys. And as you can imagine, I can get some pretty funny reactions. My very first season as a baseball player, I was stepping back into the batter's box to finish up my bat, and I turned and asked the umpire, three and one count, right, Blue? Yes, sir. Ma'am. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. <laughs> Poor guy had to do a mini victory dance every time he remembered that I am, indeed, a female. Well, this past season during All-Stars, I had this one umpire, and he was the sweetest guy, and every time he saw me, without a fail, why, hello, Miss Lady. How are you doing today, Miss Lady? Wonderful hit, Miss Lady. <laughs> I was really bummed that I didn't realize until after the season that my response should have been, oh, why, thank you, Mr. Gentleman. <laughs> and while most people, like these two umpires, are completely fine with having a girl on the team, not everyone supports that idea. Throughout my time as a baseball player, I've seen both sides. I've seen those that can't wait to have a girl play professionally. And I've also seen those that dread the day. Well, from that, I've learned some things that pertain to a bit more than just baseball. First off, I learned that if I want to be different, I have to have thick skin. Pretty self-explanatory. If I want to be unique, I need to be able to put up with the responses I get from those who don't like change. And this can be pretty difficult at times, and there are two ways. So during my first season as a baseball player, I have two favorite positions. One's first base and one is third base. And one little known fact about baseball players is that they believe that the second they enter their dugout, no one can hear a word they say. I can attest that this is very far from true. If I was playing next to either dugout, I heard the widest array of comments. And as you can imagine, very few were positive and very few were appropriate. To this day, it can be so discouraging, but giving up is the only way for them to win. If I would have quit on my first day, I would have missed so many amazing friends, memories, and opportunities that are worth so much more to me today than that bit of discomfort. Secondly, I learned that everyone has different natural strengths. In baseball, the main components of the game are pitching, fielding, and hitting. But the factors that contribute to a player's overall ability are speed, strength, mechanics, reaction time, and a million other things. When I play, I'm typically by far the shortest player, and I play with all guys, so I'm never the strongest either. I excel in mechanics, reaction time, and overall, I put in a lot of effort and heart. But these guys that I was playing against, they had been playing all season long on their high school team, which I couldn't. They were all tall, which I wasn't, and most of them were stronger than me, most. <laughs> and when I started on my Ulster team, my fears definitely weren't eased when my coach lined us all up along the right field line, gave us one baseball, and told us to throw it as far as we could towards the fence. First guy came up, threw it about three quarters of the way. Second guy, about the same. A little further down the line, someone made it all the way over the fence. The guy right before me, one hopped it. So I got up, got ready, I threw it as hard as I could, looked up, and it went about halfway. It wasn't my best moment, but as the season progressed, I realized that I had some things that these guys didn't. I had work ethic and focus. Throughout the season, I improved my weaknesses, maintained my strengths, and ended up starting every game on the infield. It's the same way for other aspects of life. 
Never count yourself out because you don't think you're as good as someone else. Work for what you want, and if you're still not there, keep working. Finally, I learned that I don't have to fit into one box. You've all heard of the millions of different stereotypes and labels that can be placed on a person. We have our nerds, jocks, blondes, skaters, and a million, million more. We find it necessary to place others and ourselves into categories. Because I play baseball, I told myself that I had to be an all-around tomboy because that's what was expected of me. And I play with all guys, so in order to fit in just a tiny bit, I had to avoid things that didn't fit with the tomboy stereotype. It's taken me 16 years to finally realize that there is no box, no label, no stereotype or personality quiz that can ever define who I am. And you know what? There shouldn't be. I don't have to be easy to explain. I can say things like, I'm a girl, but I play baseball, and I love school and dancing and whatever else I want, and it doesn't break a single rule. There are over seven billion people on this planet, and only one of them is you. Own it. Be as you as you could possibly be, because that's an ability that no one else has. Well, you've all heard how these things affect me, affect me in my baseball life. It started out as a little bit terrifying. Being different isn't easy, but let me tell you, it's well worth it. In the immortal words of Frederick Douglass, if there is no struggle, there is no progress. Now, the bat's in your hands. Whether it's starting a new company, taking up a different hobby, or making a change, don't let anything stand in your way. Take this knowledge and gain the momentum to overcome the walls, chains, obstacles holding you back. If you're passionate about something, if you want to make a change, if you want to be different, go for it. Because if you have a vision, or if you have a goal, if you have a passion, take your shot. It's your turn to step up to the plate. Thank you.